Let's go to Luke chapter 6, verses 29 through 30, maybe only 29. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, offer also the other. And him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. So in the expanded Bible here, you may not understand this. If anyone slaps you on one cheek, mm, offer him the other cheek too. So for that part here, is this saying if someone punches you, give them the other cheek. Now, it could be. But honestly, if someone punches me in the face, I am going to try to avoid that person to hit me <laughs> on the other cheek, quite honestly. Now, I don't know if that is wrong for me to do to avoid getting hit, but, you know, like who wants to get punched in the face and like, hey, you, you missed this spot right here. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but to me, which it can mean that, I guess, but to me, what that is saying to me, to me, If someone is willing to do wrong to you, don't retaliate in a bad way. Like, be docile. Docile? How you say it? Docile? D O C I L E? Be, if that is the right word, be the type of person when someone is willing to do wrong to you, like, don't do bad back, if that makes any sense. I am in a situation to where, yes, it is my fault, but I think things are going way out of control. So I could do something and I have been contemplating on doing it, but maybe I should not retaliate at all. Just pretty much pray about it. Like I want that person to stop, but that person may seem like they are not willing to stop and I don't want to do something to make the situation worse. So with what I am saying, I think this coincides with getting smited, <laughs> smitten, smite. And him that taketh away thy cloak forbid not to take thy coat also. So if someone takes your coat, do not stop him from taking your shirt. So, I believe the idea of Luke chapter 6, verse 29. What is that word when people welcome you? Uh, be, be a meek person. Be a person... Is that meek or humility? Which one is it? Be the type of person to where you can be imposed on, if I am saying that correctly, or if that is the right word. Be the type of person to where you are inconvenienced for a person's so someone is doing what they want. 
but you are the type of person who is willing to be inconvenienced so that they can enjoy themselves. If that makes any sense to you. So, and I know this may be difficult for many of us. I know for me, you know, some people may say I am patient. And as it seems, I think this is very strange. I think the more patient I become, like the worse <laughs> situations I get in where I, I truly need to exercise patience. So as I exercise patience through very difficult times, yes, my patience may grow, but it seems like my trials or my tests, if I can say that, grows as well. So I think this scripture here is pretty much telling you, telling us to be meek, to be humble. Don't retaliate in a bad way. I'm not so sure if this is saying if someone punches you, you should just sit there and let them punch the other cheek. Um, I don't like pain, so I'm going to let you punch my other cheek too? Um, I'm not sure about that. So be, you know, what people call a doormat. You know, when someone calls another a doormat, you know, what does that really mean? A person that you can push around a person you can like inconvenience them as if they are nothing in a way and you may disagree with this but i believe in a way we have to be somewhat like that Somebody, you know, a person said to me, I think a per was it a person that said this to me? I think someone told me, like, why don't you stand up for yourself or why don't you do this or do that? Like, uh, for I may forget something like, why don't you stand up for yourself? I think. And I don't remember the situation, but if I did say that, it may have been a situation to where it would not be worth saying anything because it may have brought more problems. Sometimes, and I know I fall into the trap so many times, sometimes talking about something or maybe trying to correct a person, maybe that is going to make things worse. I believe I told you, and I'm not sure how it happened. Um, somehow, and I saw it, you know, on Facebook, when you chat with someone, you know, the dialogue box. So, there was a person that I would chat with and I saw a very <laughs> demonic demon picture. Then I'm chatting with my wife and every so often that demonic picture pops up. Now, is it possible the first person sent it to me? Maybe. But my wife? My wife would send the same picture too? I'm thinking... You may think I am nuts. You may think I am crazy. You may think I am insane. But I believe that demon 
wanted to make himself known to me. Hideous demon. And when I saw the picture, I could feel the, and some of you may know what I mean, I could feel the demonic presence and that feeling over my body and stuff like that. So I don't think that was an ordinary picture. But anyways, I forget the point that I was trying to make. Well, let me make a new point. By seeing that demonic picture, <laughs> I believe it shows me how much it is true that our fight is with the demonic realm. Because it seems like when I have an issue with a particular person, like that demon picture pops up almost every so often so weird as if the demon is trying to tell me yes that was me uh it is me causing confusion with you and that other person yes 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 because um before i started to really see that demonic stuff that demonic picture I think it showed me uh, itself in like two different types of picture one in a certain way and another one when in another way if that makes any sense but anyways um I believe I started to see that stuff when I'm, I would pray so much for God to reveal to me, you know, why am I having problems with this person, blah, 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 and that person would pray with me. Then I think after that, that demonic picture pops up every so often. And imagine i know i am going off of topic a little bit but imagine being with a demon that hideous that evil looking like with without god's protection let's say you die and you did not live your life right and that hideous looking demon come for you and you have no protection Oh my lord. I think that alone would probably um make someone want to serve God if they were to encounter something like that but was given a second chance. If you think I am lying, if you think that I am seeing things, my brain is messed up, okay ask jesus christ i'm serious now if, if you think i am making things up ask jesus christ to show you what i was shown like god like i don't believe kevin so god please show me those demonic pictures that i think that demon showed me and <laughs> Please do it if you think I am lying. Because what do I have to prove, honestly? Like, hey, you know, I, I am so spiritual. I can see this. I can see that. Am I really here for that? No. So I hope all of this makes sense. We need, and I believe much of the problems I go through, is pretty much problems where I need to practice patience, humility, and I'm going to find out that word unless I am saying it now, but to where I think it's meek, meekness. I think it is meekness. I think meekness is like the key word to what verse 29 is speaking about. 
like being imposed on. Like to where, have you seen movies where like there are nerds and stuff like that and like these really popular guys, you know, they pick on the nerds, push them around and sometimes I guess the nerds don't do anything about it like that. We have to be in a sense somewhat like that to where people pick on us, do us wrong, say whatever about us and we willing to not attack back, not react in a bad way. I hope this makes sense. So we have to be somewhat like those nerds in a sense. Not saying we have to be a nerd. I guess I am a nerd, but <laughs> nerd cab. So let me stop here. May God bless you.